pumpkin cheese ball. Pumpkin cheese ball. Have you ever seen a pumpkin cheese ball? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you how. Hey y'all, it's April and thanks for stopping by my channel, My Crazy Creative Life. And we are still in the 13 snacks of Halloween. And today is day... I'm getting lost in the tracks of my days. I think today is day five. Yeah, today is day five. So today we are attempting to make a pumpkin cheese ball. And it's it just takes few ingredients. And it just takes a little time to make and then a little time to get cold. And it's really good and it's cute. If As long as it turns out, it's cute. So I uh, hope that you liked the video and we're gonna go ahead and jump right on in and let you see how to make a pumpkin cheese ball. Okay, so we are going to start off with one eight ounce block of softened cream cheese. If it's not soft enough, you can put it in the microwave for just a few seconds. Next, we're going to take a tub of the Philadelphia the cream cheese spread. It's the the chive, the onion and chive, or you can take the vegetable one. Um, but I'm doing the onion and chive now. I can tell some. My child apparently did not know that I had this uh, for a recipe. And I go to look at it this morning because she says something about taking cream cheese to school. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see that. She's about took almost half of the whole container, half of the container. So I'm just going to use what I've got. Um, just be fine with it. So, but anyway, it should have been eight ounces. So I probably have, uh, yeah, I think it's, yeah. Well, it's 7.5 ounce container, but we'll just go with what we got. Next, you're gonna take, um, you need two tablespoons of ranch powder. Now you can either do the, the little packet, you can take the one that's like pre-made in the big bottle like this is, either the Walmart brand or the Hidden Valley brand, um, or like I said, or the packet. You can do the regular ranch dressing or you can do the, I think it's hot and spicy ranch dressing. You can do either or depend on, uh, kind of depends on your taste. So it's two tablespoons. I'm gonna go ahead and start. I wanted to go ahead and get that good and blended at first. Next, we're gonna take three green onions and one red bell pepper. Hopefully you can see that all right. Um, but we're just gonna take a, a green onion and I cut the, the ends off. And then I will go through here and any uh, stem or whatever you wanna call it that looks bad, I'll go ahead and take it off. I usually don't cut all of it because I usually leave about that much off. Next, we're gonna take a red bell pepper. Now, this little guy right here, the stem, you wanna save that, so put that to the side. I always rinse out the inside. Okay, now I'm gonna grind this up really good. Again. It calls for two cups of cheddar cheese. It says to reserve a fourth of a cup for when you put it on your saran wrap and that kind of that cheese outer gives it like a coating on the outside. I'm still gonna put two cups on the inside and still use some on the outside because I just like extra sharp cheddar cheese and that's, well, this is sharp cheddar, not extra sharp, but I like cheddar cheese. Plus I didn't have as much of the cream cheese uh, where my youngin got into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the two cups you can do a uh, one and three quarters cup if you want and then use the fourth cup to go on the outside 
if you so choose. Okay, now with this, you kind of got to do a little finagling. So you want some saran wrap. You want a, a fairly good quality saran wrap. It doesn't necessarily have to be name brand. It just has to, you know, work. <laughs> so you want to take some of that cheddar cheese I was telling you about earlier. Okay, so let's put some cheese on top. All right, now the best you can, you gotta try to bring this up and together because you're trying your best to form a ball, sort of. And you will have to use more than one piece of, of, uh, of whatever this stuff's called, saran wrap. What I'm doing, you know, other people probably have different ways. What I'm trying to do is wherever it's kind of an open spot at, then I put wherever it's open the long way of the saran wrap, if that makes any sense. But see, it's like open there, so I'm pulling this up. And I've got, well, it's still somewhat open right back there. And then kind of just pull it together. This, I'm, I'm bringing it just all the way over instead of trying to bring it up and do the twist tie top feel. I'm just bringing it over to help kind of secure that. Okay, for the most part, it's, it's ball shape, it's round. So now I'm gonna go get my rubber bands. If you don't have any rubber bands, you could use some kind of a kitchen string, a yarn or something like that. But I'm gonna go get my rubber bands and I will be right back. All right, now you're gonna take some rubber bands. And just put them right there. I've kind of got it just crossed over. See, I started here, here, here. And I'm gonna come there's that one. And let's see what I can do. You can see kind of like your lines lines forming and so you can hopefully see how this is starting to look like a little pumpkin and then we're going to put this in the refrigerator overnight and then it will harden when i pull it out tomorrow and take all the lim uh, the why do i want to say lemon full take off the saran wrap i may coat it with a little bit more of this cheese i don't know yet i'll just wait till tomorrow and see what i feel like doing but this little stem i told you to hang on to don't throw that away once we take all the saran wrap off and the rubber bands and all of that, 
um, then we will sit this on top of the cheese, cheese ball, and you'll see even more how it kind of looks like a little pumpkin with that stem on there. So, so I'm gonna stick this in my fridge and it will stay there overnight and then I will meet you guys back sometime tomorrow and we'll pull this out and show you what it looks like. And then after I pull it out tomorrow, it's ready to eat. If we wanna go ahead and eat it tomorrow, we can. Just with some club crackers or wheat thins or just, you know, whatever crackers that you like with uh, cheese then then that'll be perfect for you so i'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator overnight and then i will see you back tomorrow all right it is the next day there's a little cheese ball and i've had it sitting out on the counter i don't know 15 20 minutes or so so i may have let it sit out too long but Well, well. Well, I'm kind of glad this happened. Um, what I'm going to do is rewrap it up. I think partly because I let it sit a little bit longer than I had tended to on the counter before I opened up. But now that it's a lot colder than it was when I first started this yesterday, it's going to form a little easier. So I'm going to wrap it back up, but not use near the saran wrap I used yet last night. And I won't need to. In some spots it's really firm like over here you can tell it's really firm right there it's kind of soft Okay, I'm gonna sit that back in the fridge and let that get cold again. Probably not a couple hours. Okay, um, y'all, I may have to add something to this because if you recall, half of that cream cheese was gone where Havana had ate it. <laughs> and I'm thinking that has because I didn't have enough of that other cream cheese in it, it's made it too soft. I'm trying. I'm gonna try this one more time, and if it's still too soft, then. I'm just going to add some more cream cheese to it and then put it back in the refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah. It should not be that soft. So, like I've always tell you guys, you learn from my mistakes. So that way you can watch me, watch me fail and then hopefully correct it. And then you know not to do what I just done. So I'm going to get my food processor back out. I'm gonna stick all this mess back in there. I'm gonna add probably another, I thought about adding another half block of cream cheese, but I don't even know if I have any more cream cheese. So let me see what I've got and then I'll come back and tell you what I'm gonna do. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna fit this back in here. I did not find, uh, so it's like some of it's soft and some of it's not. Anyway, um, I didn't have like a actual block of cream cheese but yesterday at the store, I did get some plain whipped. <laughs> this ain't even right cheese either. It's that Mexican blend, but. 
and something to kind of coat that top. Okay, let's try this again. This time I didn't do the twist. I don't know if that's a mistake or not. But... Well, whatever this is, I made a square. <laughs> so I guess maybe I'll have a little squatty pumpkin if it even works. <clears throat> All right, let's try this again, people. Okay, let's go back in the refrigerator for, I don't know, several hours to maybe even overnight. I'll just have to see how my day goes, but it's going back in the fridge. Hopefully this time it'll get hard. If it doesn't get hard this time, I give up and we'll just have a, a cheese ball mess and not a cheese ball pumpkin, okay? Okay, let's try this again. I still am not confident it's gonna be like it's supposed to be. Well, yeah, it's somewhat better, but it's not the way it's supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> it's the ugliest. Let me tell you how I used to make this, and when I've made it before, I've told you I made it before. And it always worked fine. I tried the actual real recipe and that's what I got. I never put the pepper in it before. I never put that soft, creamy, chive, whatever, cream cheese in it. All I done was took, I think it was two blocks of just, just your regular eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. I let them soften up a little bit. I mixed those up. I put in, I think a packet of the rich uh, dressing, which is, Roughly, I want to think three tablespoons. I think it might be two. It's two to three tablespoons is what one packet equals. But I just did a one packet of regular ranch dressing, two things of eight ounce cream cheese blocks, and I think it was a two cup bag of the shredded cheddar cheese. And I mixed all that together. Oh, and then then your uh, green onions. I don't even remember how how many green onions, but I would do some green onions in there, and I. Mixed all that together, blended it together in my um, my food processor. Then I would do it like I showed you. Put the strand wrap around it, put your rubber bands around it, put it in the refrigerator, and let it get cold. And it's worked every time. This time I put that soft cream cheese, that whipped cream cheese in it, and I put the peppers in it. Now, it may not be the pepper. It might just be that soft cream cheese. But that's what I got. This poor little squatty, somewhat looking... I mean, it still tastes really good, but it just doesn't look like a pumpkin like it's supposed to look like. So, I want to go ahead and get this video out because I promised you all 13 snacks between now and Halloween. And this is, I think, what, five? Day five. So, I may try to make it again later. It may be November before I get to make it again my way instead of that recipe. I'll still link that recipe, and I'm not trying to knock anybody's recipe. I'm just telling you my experience, and I'm showing you my experience. So, anyway, that's all. And then, like I said, just serve that with whatever crackers you want. Ritz crackers, uh, the little club crackers, uh, wheat thins, whatever. But it tastes good. So, it's not the taste. It's just, it, <laughs> it's just, it's so soft that it doesn't want to form that pumpkin shape. And that's, that's just all it is. So, if you're not really looking for a pumpkin, then it's probably just fine. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that was a mess. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen that way. But like I've always tell you, uh, you can learn from my mistakes, but I've made pumpkin cheese balls in the past. I've made them for, because my girl's birthday, they're always in the fall. And there's been two or three different times I have made a pumpkin cheese ball, like either at their birthday party or for something else. I've never had that much problem. So I don't know what I done different then to compare to now, or if it's just simply because I didn't have enough of that one cream cheese. Um, 
I don't know. Because, to be honest, I've never used that cream cheese in my pumpkin cheese balls before. Maybe that was the whole problem. So, something new, I guess. Something to learn. Um, and maybe next time, I'll leave it out and just do my pumpkin cheese balls the way I used to do. So, we'll see. But anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you would, please hit that subscribe button. I'm getting so close to my goal. I'm almost at 500. That's my first goal, and we're getting so close to being there. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and, and share the video. Share it, you know, to your friends or wherever, uh, any other social media platform. And also, turn on the notification bell. That way, when, as we're going on through these 13 snacks of Halloween, you will know when I upload a new video. And I think that's it. I'll shut up now, and I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye. Oh, and by the way, if you like this video, then you might like these. And I don't know where they're at, but you'll see them. Click on one of these. Bye.